how do you take the work that Van and Major are doing and scale it up from hundreds of jobs, literally to millions of jobs, particularly in a context of a dissolving economy? All of which is saying is, how do we get the politics of this big enough, fast enough, so we can take advantage of what may be an extraordinary change of power and an opportunity like 1933 to do big things? We've got to go big and we've got to go quick. Either one of you, how do we, how do we, how do we take advantage of this moment? Are these things on? Is this on? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's a good question, Phil. Uh, <laughs> if I had the answer, I wouldn't have asked yeah, it. I know. That's why they pay you the big bucks, right. Uh, and by the way, if you can tell me yeah. I could have beaten Schwarzenegger, you can add that in. What? No, just yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, well, okay, here's some things we shouldn't do. Uh, I don't think we should hold up any investments that we want for success in getting a uh, auction cap, uh, cap trade auction bill on uh, carbon trading through. I think it's going to be complicated, uh, and I don't want to hold it up for that. I think we should invest. Uh, we should insist that the next stimulus agenda, if there's going to be another stimulus agenda, but we should, ins uh, should be directed toward the sorts of infrastructure investments we're talking about, heavily metro directed, where I think the mo major, most of the market is. And we should not uh, uh, be willing to have this, uh, you know, sort of pissant, uh, you know, democratic endorsed program of stimulus that's been offered so far. We want big public investments. And what will happen. Joel, could you comment afterwards how you feel about the stimulus package? Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I fear will happen, especially after the events of the last couple of days, is that we'll have some sort of pathetic rerun of 1993 or end of 1992, in which people who haven't said that much about investing in America in a serious way during this campaign will be brought back by saying, oh, no, no, you can't do that. The bond market you know, won't permit that. Or f magically, we've run out of money. The Federal Reserve is in the process of nationalizing the banking industry, and we need all of your cash and savings in order to do that. And I think that the task for the left is to say, not this time. No, we insist. Uh, we don't care if you have to hang up the bankers and, and uh, by their, their ankles and shake the money out of them, uh, or that re repeal the Bush tax cuts, do more than repeal the Bush tax cuts, or get something back in America called progressive taxation. We insist on a certain amount, you know, basically 800 or so billion dollars in investment right here in stuff that's going to green the economy and grow jobs. That would be a first thing I would do. I would not go along with anything short than that. Then, how to get the, up to scale? The, the problem is going to be, if you really want a, uh, a uh, movement for this, which is as uh, smart and beautiful and multicolored and ambitious as the best of America, then you've got to do a deal with the building trades and the unions in the cities. You've got to do a deal with the mayors, and you've got to do a deal with the community groups in which you set up a big trade in which the community groups say, labor, we are going to endorse your standards, but you've got to have different rules on letting us into the clean economy we're going to help you build. And labor's, and labor's got to, you know, agree to that. Uh, and that, it's, it's politics for jobs. And that's got to be made very explicit, uh, I think, in all of our major metropolitan areas. That's the discussion that I wish was a little bit further along today than it is. But that's the discussion I think is needed to happen. You know, with the finance community, you know, you know that as well as I, but I think that uh, it is quite possible to get access to private capital for a lot of this stuff. I think we can beat the finance rap on this. I think we can, can survive in a pay-as-you-go thing. Uh, but I do think we need the base, very basic politics of access to the jobs straight. And then finally, and I'm going on too long, I think you've got to get the people prepared. You know, Vannery says, well, where will Pookie get a job in this, right? What about a guy who's a former gangbanger, he's done a little bit of time, or he's under adult supervision, his reading level is only at the fifth grade level, he can't even pass the laborer's apprenticeship test. You've got to be sure, and this is part of the deal with labor too, you can't overnight make up for 30 years of divestment of 400 years of racism, 30 years of, of incredible explosion and incarceration in our major cities. But we have to begin to do that now and hang a big lantern on the fact that that's part of the goal as well. So there's a whole healing thing with labor that is needed.